So I say everybody, it's your boy the RC Congress. This is by and Crew New York Season 8, Episode 16, right? Yeah, I think it is. So, um, actually, it's Episode 12. I'll take that back. So, she talked to you. She dates this new guy from the shop. And she's nervous that she's probably nervous or scared that people was going to judge her personal life that she don't want nobody to know about her business. That's fine. But when Bay told her that people were going to find out, she was right. And she realized she was right. So she was going to bring her out and bring him out in the open. She did try to keep him from coming to the party. But she did apologize for... For thinking that she's ashamed of him. She says she's not ashamed of him. So it is what it is. And we see Teddy and Tati is going to be getting to it next week. I'm not sure what the hell that about. Maybe you got something to do with that she moving on. And he's a player. He shouldn't be in his feelings. That the case. Because I don't know what the hell just happened. Then we see Alice and Donna. And Donna apologized to Alice for getting for watching the marriage and look alice did say he want to marry her just not in that moment because he's still doing the fact remember his baby mother i heard his i think he said his baby mother was crazy and now he's dating one of the crazy so this is the reason why him and donna made um good in common this is the reason why they made for each other because they both crazy and you know that and i like them together i do so keep that in note I mean, keep that in mind. I like that. And we also see uh, Teaser's open up the new shop. Then it's going to be, it's going to be a party, but not a party like wild party, but we already know it's going to be. And they was all having a good time. Of course, Crystal came back, but she's not hired. Puma's not hire her because of her behavior and her why not part. And he did tell Mike that she's still fired. She can come to party, but she can't come back to work. Because Puma went, meant what he said. I said, okay, Puma, you are Cecil's partner, so is Teddy. So here he um thanked them for having his back. You know, Cesar and, no, no, Cesar. Teddy and um Puma. And also thanks Kitty. Because we know Kitty is, um forgot what she does. But she's doing her part. And yeah, everybody else having a good time. And then, of course, Q was dressing Crystal. Because Crystal got a new look. She don't look too bad. At least in my opinion, she don't look too bad at all. But I feel like she was trying to make C. She was trying to get C to come to her. Trying Because we know she lost a lot of weight too. She's thick now. And she got a new look. Not, like I said, it's not bad. But remember, Q was you know helping um Crystal how to draw a dress, just picking a dress for her, and the red didn't look too bad on her either. I'm not sure who else would feel some type of way besides me. But yeah, remember her daughter didn't like that little dress on her because you remember that season didn't like the way she dressed because Q is like a I think he a fashion designer. I think that's what he is. Okay. And then, you know, Crystal was hacking the second thought that she didn't want to come to the party at first because Caesar, it's all about Caesar. And then, Q even said that you still have food for Caesar. And I think she does. You can't tell me no different. And then, you trying to get him attention and it didn't work. And then, you was talking shit. I don't know why she was coming for Kitty when she didn't do shit to her. That's crazy. And Bay heard that shit. And Bay was being a good friend, telling Kitty what Crystal said about her. And of course, Kitty didn't have nothing to say. She just walked away because she didn't want to talk to her. Donna tried to call her on the phone, and she just clicked. They had nothing to say. Crystal kept running after her, you know, trying to get her to talk woman to woman. But let's not forget, you always going to be the baby mother, sweet cheek. You are. She just don't want you. Just move on with you. Like, you do, I thought you moved on. Because you got a new look. You're still beautiful. But let's not forget, you're still the same crazy crystal that we first that we first saw you on season one. Yeah. 
because Katie's starting to know who she really is. Ever since she got that new look. Sometimes it changed you when you're not supposed to be. And people ain't gonna fuck with you after that. But guys, I think that's all I say about Black and Cool New York. Like I said, it's gonna be drama next week. Between Tatiana and Teddy and I saw what the hell that's for. Maybe because she moved on. I thought he... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, make sure you share this video. And I'm out.